just got a text from Chris that said, update, Perrick is asleep and I've lost four crankbaits. <laughs> Chris and Perrick are not having a very good time in Texas. <sighs> Rob and I are back here in Illinois. Now we're gonna do some good old fashioned pond hopping Illinois style. See, Rob doesn't get to do this much because he's not from Illinois. So we're gonna see if maybe we can catch some big old northern strains out of these little ponds. Oh God. If you're curious, yes, my brake is still destroyed. All right guys, so within moving baits today, we're gonna throw swim baits on swim bait heads, spinner baits, of course, the killer bait for, where did it go, do you have it? And we're also gonna be throwing Lippo's crank baits. What color, guys? What do you think I should go with? I think I'm gonna go with this one. I like the hammered blade on this. Cause the fish really care. That was me being sarcastic. I don't think they actually care. Okay, we've only got a few hours to fish today, so we're gonna use moving baits to break this apart. Although a jig today would work really good because all the flooded grass. I honestly may just go back and get a jig. Going on a jig mission. <laughs> gonna go grab the jigs. All right, we're flipping. Most of the big fish I've caught in here have been flipping and frogging, so I'm pretty confident with the technique that we're using right now. I think one of us could get a fish. I at least think we'll get bit today, but I want a big one. You got one. Rob just caught the first fish of the day. Nice largey flipping. Mm, where they at? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding. Holy dude, that was a tank. Dude, the wake on this fish was huge. That fish was massive. I'm gonna go, I just missed a giant. I thought it was a little guy until I saw the wake. I'm gonna grab a spinner bait just because it's getting windy over here. I take you to my, my pond and you start catching all the fish, which means I need to just probably quit. Move to a river with some nice smallmouth and call it a year. All right, I guess that's a too late, a little bit too late for that though. It's already November, maybe next year then. I still think they're in these reeds. Actually, I know for a fact they're in the reeds. I just lost one in the reeds. You also caught one in the reeds too. Okay, well, Rob's got my number right now. He's smoking them, lighting them up on the lipless. I'm still so stubborn pitching this jig into little pockets of reeds with zero success. I know, and this is my pond. I'm Rick Harrison and this is my pond. All right, well, that was a good 51 minutes and seven seconds of just straight nothing. We're gonna head on over to another pond after this. I uh, don't know which one I'm thinking I should take Rob to, but there is a few around here. I don't know, I don't know. Well, well, I don't know. Let's go see if we can find some fish at other ponds though. That was, whoop, what's going on here? That was fun. Nothing like taking a dude from Texas who's never fished really like any Illinois ponds before and having them just wax you out on a place that you've pretty much been fishing for about two years now. I didn't catch a single fish, guys. I don't know what that was all about. We're gonna, we're gonna plan B it. Nothing like a good old plan B. So, on to pond number two. Well, I am not a very bright person. I'll just state it simply. I'm an idiot. I uploaded the wrong Never Stop Tour video for today. I uploaded episode five when we're actually only on episode four. I am driving with a laptop in my lap, a camera in one hand, and my phone to, in the other seat, and I'm uploading this video like like five minutes before it's about to go out. This is like, this isn't winging it actually. This is super irresponsible and dumb. That's what's going on right now. I actually dropped Rob off at the pond one tune area I could get some service. I'm now uploading this. It has 11 minutes of processing time left and this video is supposed to go live in two minutes. So, great job, John, real great job. But I thought I'd turn the camera on just to show you guys the behind the scenes of all this stuff. Noth nothing goes smoothly with me. So I'm now going back to the pond. This video, of course, is gonna be a few minutes late, which is inevitable. I mean, it, it, it could have been avoided, but I don't know, real bummer. Yeah, so I'm actually going to fish a pond with my laptop. I apologize guys in advance for uploading this so late, but uh, yeah, it happens, I guess. Mistakes happens and you gotta learn from them. Pond fishing with laptops and, ugh, it's just a mess. 
They're gonna be eating over here, dude. Do you have a top water? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I got one following it. I got one following it. He's got it. Oh no, I missed him. What the heck? There was like three fish back in that little cut right there. Oh my son of a, what? What? Nice job, dude. Real, real, real good, good, good effort. I get an A on that one. Rob, wanna do the Taco Bell challenge? All right, let's start. Taco Bell challenge. Oh my God, I just spooked like eight fish. Okay, Taco Bell challenge starts now, Rob. Winner has to buy the loser a chalupa. Sounds good? Okay, it starts right now though. Oh, I guess it starts now, but if you catch two fish, those don't count. No, but it starts right now. Dude, there's so many fish over here. Why the hell are we not catching them? They're just done and they're just not feeding. This video is all over the place. Fish two ponds, upload a video, Taco Bell challenge. Right now I'm winning even though I haven't caught a fish yet. I've seen more fish than Rob, so technically I'm, I'm winning this challenge thus far. Well, it's getting dark. I'm getting tired. I wanna just go home and take a nice nap. I think maybe I can squeeze in a last minute bite here. There's still a decent amount of left. Oh, oh, there's one right there, he's following it. He's got it, he's got it. Oh, that was sick, that was sick. I actually caught one. Oh man, just when I thought there was no hope for me to actually catch a fish today, I cranked this dude. I watched him wake the swim jig as I was reeling it in for another cast and I stopped it and of course he just went up and picked it up. <laughs> Whew, sick. Dude. So it was actually worth coming out. Yeah, I probably caught 10 here. Oh, nice. I caught about one. I think we're going to dip out, dude. It's nice meeting you. All right, it was nice meeting you, too. Keep fishing, man. Yeah, Good yeah. luck. My friends are not going to It's 6.08. I think it's time for Rob and I to head on out of here and think about our next adventure, that being Texas. Today was an interesting day. We really honestly didn't even plan on hitting the water today. I think we were just like bored. We didn't know what to do with ourselves. So Rob and I decided to fish some ponds. He ended up absolutely smoking me like 15 to one. Before I sign off on today's video, I want to try my best to catch up on just a little bit of viewer mail that you guys have been sending me. I've got a ton of stuff here. What, what do we got in this box? Jeez. Oh wow. Oh wow, someone sent me a reel. Oh. Old Akuma. Oh, I didn't even say who this package was from. I ripped their name off. Dang it. Aw, oh, sick. Nice broken pair of shades. Dope. Oh, here's the other piece of the shade. Oh, I got some frogs. Got some soft plastics. I also have this popper. Uh, big chewy granola bar. Very cool, very cool. Got a little jerk bait there. I'm digging it. We got a note here as well. My name is Jordan. I'm 13 years old and I've watched your videos since 175,000 subscribers. Jordan, thanks for all the gear, man. I appreciate it. I, I could literally just start up my fishing career with everything that you've sent me here. Very generous of you, dude. Oh, I feel like I shouldn't do that. I gotta stop doing that, it's not safe. Oh, what the? Oh, I thought it was a reel in here for a second. This package is from P. Gill. Thank you for the encouragement to fish. Please never stop fishing. Dope fishing shots. P.S. Tell Peric that lettuce is in the produce section, not the fishing section. Patrick says so. Patrick sent me a very unique, almost kind of like old rip bait. I want to say this is like a Smithwick. Yeah, it's, a, it's an old Smithwick Rogue. And then along with that, he sent me a nice lip lips right here as well. Good color. I like your taste, Patrick. All right, well now I've got packing peanuts everywhere. Gotta pick all this up now. All right, it's late, I should be going to bed. I need to wake up to go on a plane tomorrow, but we're gonna open two more packages up just because I, I've been sucking at the fan mail boxes recently, guys. Oh, gotta turn that around, sorry MTB. This package comes from Kim Daly. 
daily. I'm just waiting for there to be something dead in one of these. You guys have been pretty awesome, honestly. I haven't gotten anything like extraordinarily creepy. And now that I say that, I'm probably gonna get something really creepy or dangerous or like a dead ant. Okay, I'm gonna read the note first because this is how this works. Hi John, here are two things for your use fishing. You have a major stones removing that trouble by yourself. The cutters, oh nice. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at this. Kim sent me like, like, like bolt cutters <laughs> to cut the hooks out of my fingers. Hopefully I'll never have to use this for the, the intention of cutting hooks out of my finger. <laughs> this is probably the most unique gift I think I've ever gotten. Oh, check it. Oh, dang, like brand spanking new. I actually, and this sounds crazy, being that I'm a fisherman, I've been fishing since I was four, but I've never really owned like a solid pair of pliers. I'm like actually really happy. Wow. Wow. I got a reel today, I got a popper, I got a jerk bait, I got some fly fishing stuff, and I got some tools to remove hooks out of my fingers, which, can we just not, I'm just not gonna do that again. Let's just not get hooked in the finger again. Okay, one more package and then I'm going to bed because I'm really tired. Usually when they say open video, I open them. A lot of times people actually don't want me to even open on videos, so I won't do that. I read and open a lot of these packages in private, and I know that kind of sucks, but being that I get a lot of stuff, I mean, you guys know how it is, but mark my words, I read everything, I open everything, and I appreciate everything. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let's just open this last package. Let's see what Nicole sent me. Oh. Got some more worms there, like some stick stick baits or something like that. Got some some more soft plastics. Got a got a few letters here. Got got another oh, what's this going on? Oh, fin collection baits. I think someone sent me their they're homemade lures, that's pretty cool. Jaden, thanks bud so much for all of the, uh, what I'm assuming are homemade lures. These will for sure get used. Okay, so, so you guys you guys see the unboxing. You see that I've got all these lures in front of me and stuff like that. See, when I go on these trips, I hate like trying to figure out what lures I need to bring, and I hate packing lures. Well, I hate packing in general, but I especially hate packing lures. So, rather than picking some equipment out of my own supply, I'm just gonna use everything that I've unboxed, put it in this, tray right here and bring it with me on this trip and those are the only lures that I'm gonna bring with me and I'm gonna fish with. Granted, I'm probably gonna fish with like some other lures while I'm down there, but these are the only ones I'm gonna bring and these are the only ones I'm basically gonna use out of my own stash this week. I'm gonna load up all the lures that you guys sent me along with a few others that I unbox off camera and I'm gonna use them while I'm in Texas, Florida, and wherever, I don't know, I'm probably gonna go somewhere else after this, I got no clue. This is this is my way of just kind of showing you guys that I in fact use this stuff. And I know a lot of you guys out there probably don't speculate that I just throw this away or throw it in a corner or something like that, because I don't. Uh, you guys send me some pretty sick stuff. I mean, that's a dirty looking popper right there. I also wanna let you guys know that I will be announcing the winner for the Dope Croc $100 gift card giveaway this weekend um it's just gonna be random and i might just throw it up on twitter instagram youtube so with that being said make sure you're following me on all the social media channels below if you don't have an instagram or twitter or something like that that's fine i'll probably announce it all throughout my social media channels but give you know give a little bit of follow but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video and as always keep fishing never stop Are you ready for this? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that back right one's struggling.